Good afternoon, uh, esteemed leaders of different political parties and uh, Zimbabweans. Thank you for this great opportunity that you've given me. I never thought that I'll be standing in front of you this, this afternoon, as I thought that I'll just be accompanying um, my fellow mate, uh, Trust. My name is Anand Arnold Sululu. Uh, I'm a former member of parliament from Slovela constituency. That was in 2009 to 2013. I was actually one of the first members with my Ben I here to form the MDC here in South Africa some years, years back. Um, and currently, I am leading a new movement to be taken political party called E Movement. Um, why E Movement? We felt that there's a gap in the, in the Zimbabwe political uh, space for the youth. I like what my young man was told, t talking about that there are no political parties that are engaging the youth and giving them employment or jobs. But if you look at the is the very least shown. Why Takanya form an e-movement is because Takawana the triple C that was formed was more like MDC. So we felt that it had failed to deliver some of its promises. Like for me, when I joined the party, I was a former banker and I had to join the party thinking that we can take Zanu PF out of power, but we failed. So we thought that now this triple C, we feel that we need more parties in Zimbabwean politics, especially in parliament, because all of us are dwelling on two political parties which have failed the nation. Zanu PF mainly has failed us. And when I say the other political parties has failed the nation, we can see what is happening right now. Though they haven't been into government and governed, but in terms of taking the people forward. Amata Bandeng have voted for the opposition, especially MDC and Triple C. And I'm not shy to say that we have failed the people because we didn't deliver that what we have promised them. Zimbabwe is still being led by Zanu PF which is something that is, you know, hating me. And currently with all these past elections, uh, we are still, we're still behind. We are not moving forward. And Zimbabweans are suffering. All Zimbabweans who are in the diaspora, not only here in South Africa, in many countries all over the world, they really want to see a change in our country. They've supported us financially. They've supported us uh, emotionally, morally. They've given us that support that we think by now, as Zimbabweans, we should move on, but we still at a standstill. This past elections, we had intended to put some uh, few councillors or MPs to participate in the general elections. But when we sat down, we are only a few of us, we're still building up structures as e-movement. Uh, we feel that ZEC is the stumbling block. We won't go anywhere with ZEC. Why Zek? It's because it's partial. I think all of us knows that to most of us Zek is an UPF. When it does run the elections, it does favor an UPF. It's a sad scenario, and we feel that it's high time now as Zimbabweans and all polit political parties involved to engage Zek to make an independent body that is going to deliver, you know, a transparent credible, free and fair elections, especially when we come to 2018. 2023 has been a mess, and we are stuck now in the mud as Zimbabweans. This is not what we anticipated. This is not what we anticipated. As a movement, we support all progressive parties. We are coming in between the two major parties and saying, those who feel that ZANU PF are not doing it, or Triple C are not doing it, we are coming up especially with the youth. We want to engage the youth. We want to have more youth coming up. You know, they are the future leaders. I know some of them are the present leaders as well, but we want to engage the youth and educate them, giving them the experience that we had and where we have failed, especially for me. I know in my constituents in Slovenia, there are certain things that we didn't do well. And there's a party. But now we feel that it's high time that we should bring in new ideas, new ideologies, as uh, Collis was trying to say here. We need a new party that is going to take Zimbabwe to greater heights. 
Yes, Zanu PF is a well established party, she has been there for years, but its leadership is pathetic. We are crying now, especially with the recent, uh, you know, appointments that were done by E.G. Mlangago. Us as a movement, we have written to Zek and told them that these elections are null and void, just like the reports that came from the SADAC, the EU, and other, you know, observers and international observers. The elections were null and void. Though it's very difficult now to just say, let's go for rerun. We are looking at the situation where Zimbabwe is, but we are looking forward that as a movement, if we can engage all stakeholders, political parties, the church, the youth, the business people, and then we sit down and pave the way for a greater Zimbabwe. But Zanu PF is there, big stumble block, they won't allow to that. Already they're in government, they're running, they're appointing ministers, they're appointing everyone. And we are stuck as a nation. What's the way forward? That is the greatest call that we, we're asking. But my plea or our plea as e-movement is that it has come to the point that us as Zimbabweans, especially the citizens, it's upon us to solve the problems in Zimbabwe. We cannot expect Sadak and people from outside to come and solve our problems. If we are to demonstrate, let us go out there and demonstrate. But I feel that the most important thing now is to sit down, and I don't know how we're going to do it as, as different political parties and you do different ideologies and who's going to steer it. Unfortunately, the church, which we believe that could be the one who, who are the past setters in, in coming up with the um, uh, stakeholders meeting, are sitting down. But we really need to have a national dialogue. I remember even with the late Morgan Changrai, who was my boss, he emphasized that there's no way where we're going to go and improve the situation in this country. If we run the elections this way, like what happened to Triple C now, they've got the support. And surely all of us know that Triple C won the election. We know that. But look what happened. Zek announced the wrong winners. And that is Zanu PF. And look what's happening now. And we are letting it lie. Most of us, we are on the social media. We are very good as Zimbabweans on the social media. I'm sad to say that. But when it comes to take action now, yo, I don't know how educated we are. Some are now actually asking, are we really educated? Or are we deemed to be educated? Why is it that we cannot solve our own problems as a country? And that's where e-movement is coming in and say, guys, let's come in there. Bread and butter issues. Look at our roads. Look at the water situation in all cities. A few days ago, I was in Harare. This water situation day, the water situation there is appalling. Four days, five days without water. And we go and pay the water rates. Electricity, you know the situation. We cannot talk about the salaries and many other problems that we are facing as a country. <coughs> But surely we are educated. And we're still, Zimbabwe has got resources, natural resources. Where I come from, Slovela Day, we've got so much gold. I understand there's diamond too. And all of that has been taken by a few elites. And the rest are poor. Can we call ourselves leaders? What is our problem? I would like to thank the organizers of such uh, uh, events where we can come and share as political parties because we strongly believe that it's time that we sit together as political parties and pave the way for our country instead of fighting to take over the road and lead our country. I like the situation here in South Africa, the system they use. Most small, small political parties, they are leaders in parliament. And us in Zimbabwe, we're only looking at two political parties. We are not like America or Britain. Those are advanced countries. We believe that we must have a, 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 a political settlement that is, you know, conducive to our own environment. As in an African country. And as e-movement, we believe so much in Ubuntu. And like what our leading parties and PFC is, passy, passy. What is passy, passy for this age? 
For what? We did that past name and when we were fighting the the the, 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 the war, the, the liberation war. But now how can you say pass with your own brother and you expect to, to uplift that person? What is that? We've got toxic in uh, I mean politics in Zimbabwe. It's high time now. We should restrain from that and start thinking wise guys. Zimbabwe has got a potential to be one of the greatest countries in this world. If we are united and it's a movement, we want to unify all these political parties. Let's come together, that's our plea, and pave a way for a greater Zimbabwe. I thank you for this opportunity that you gave me. Thank you. I just wanted to You're know okay. about the uh, e-movement. Is uh, it uh, electronic movement or what? Just yeah, that's a very good question. It's, it's not yet well known because uh, we started as, a, as a, just a movement, a few youths, and uh, I'm actually leading it. But uh, it's our, we actually registered it in Zimbabwe. It's a registered party in Zimbabwe, but we haven't advertised, we haven't gone out to to the public and it's something that we want to start doing now you are going to know about it in the near future ah, okay. yes thank you okay thank you comrade Silulu. uh you see the <coughs> the problems of staying for so long without seeing each other mm. i now realize that i know this comrade very well when he introduced himself then mm. i remembered that yes. He once got us drunk somewhere at Pactonian. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to repeat it again today. 